What's up guys? In today's video we're going to be building with the brand new water starters final evolution Quaquaval. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. In today's video we're going to be teaching everyone, everyone how to quickly and easily build any team they want using whatever Pokemon they want. And so we're going in order of the starters. Um, after this, it's just a free for all. So, next video is going to be the fire alligator looking thing. <laughs> I probably should learn their names, but uh, my man is getting the spotlight today. And it has this nifty little ability known as Moxie. So, uh, yesterday we used the the grass thing, Meow Scorata. Okay, I was like, dang, I forgot already. Today we're going to be using this. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the process how how to build a team it's all right here i didn't link the doc in the description down below yesterday but today should be in there so or will be in there rather if it's not remind me guys um thank you for killing the like button yesterday so i want you guys to continue that trend and just destroy the like button uh, for all my og watchers who enjoy this hit the like button down below so the first step is to always identify the goal so we already identified we're going to build a team around um, Quaquaval uh, or Quaquaval, Qua, the, the duck. I think it's a duck. Yeah, I can't see its head. Quaquaval, Qua, Qua, Quaquaval, Quaquaval, yeah. Quaquaval. So, uh, <laughs> what the hell? Who goes up with this stuff? But um, let's look at his stats, right? So, uh, really, the only over or really um substantial stat that it has is uh it's attack stat everything else is pretty okay um so we're gonna be rocking a max attack for that uh maximal power now if you don't know what moxie does every time you ko pokemon you get a plus one raise and so i want to see if this thing can really really snowball i guess nifty moves like sword dance we're going to be running a life orb offensive swords dance set we're offensive because uh there's no the pokemon's defensive stats are abysmal so it's not going to be walling anything um so there's no point in wasting that it does get roost interestingly enough but um again it's it's unlikely to be walling much with its mediocre hp stat actually it's not mediocre it's actually solid invested is defense is actually not bad i mean i wouldn't it's not something uh Oh, who knows? Who knows? Metagames evolved, so I can't say for sure. But right now, it's the most redeeming stats are his attack and his speed. And so we're going to be leveraging that. And so I'm um, Swords Dance plus two attack. Uh, so you're doing a lot of damage. Close combat for the consistent, consistent, all out just destruction. Um, he gets a new move called Aqua Step, which is very interesting. It actually boosts um, the Pokemon's speed every time it's used. And it's actually solid. Um, power uh, the alternative as far as a physical strong wa strong physical water move would be wave crash uh, which is powerful however it does um, recoil so the recoil plus life orb that's the equivalent of a flare blitz um, with this priority field metagame I'd be destroyed in a heartbeat so um, we're gonna be going with aqua step on this set um, and with that coverage, we're going to go to step two, which is check what Pokemon or common strategies will stop the goal. So we're going to look at what in the tier after plus two would be stopping um, Quaquaval. Qua Qua I'm going to just call him Daffy. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to nickname him Daffy right now. We're going to see what's going to stop Daffy. Uh, so typing wise, Amoongus is a nightmare. Altaria as well, but I mean at plus two after stealth, well, it's probably going to be heavy duty boots that uh, allows the user to avoid hazard damage. But Amoongus is a more likely uh, occurrence to see. Uh, so Amoongus would be able to to check me pretty well. Um, this thing uh, would be able to check me decently well. So. It seems grass types because uh, we're looking at what last move would be good for coverage right um so the grass ghost type and the grass poison type um dragagi of course but that's usually not ran defensively 
Dragapult with the speed tier would be a problem. This is essentially Hersh Urshifu, so whatever would check Urshifu if you're familiar with last generation would check this Dragapult, um, Toxapex, obviously. Um, let's see. Actually, not that much, which is great. Jumpluff, if it was uh, some kind of offensive, I mean, defensive beast, it would. Mm. Quillfish. Uh, can Quillfish fall on the same category? Salamence, if it's defensive. Like the one we used yesterday. Slow bro, that's a big one. Slow bro. And. Uh, Toxapex. Toxic Rook as well. If well, Toxic Rook probably gets dropped by close combat, but um, we need the speed to get that Aqua Step going. So, from a coverage standpoint, it doesn't have much for those. Uh, I suppose Terra Blast is an option, but um, I'm actually gonna do is use this in a different way. I'm gonna have its teammates assist with the things it's weak to. We're gonna be using Aqua Jet here um, to pick off those pesky priority mons. So I don't know what the role is gonna be on the, um, I don't know what the role is gonna be on the the the, the mischievous looking thing, um, but it also gives in a situation where I can't aqua step to boost my speed, or I can boost my speed, but something wants to priority move me and I want to just chip them off before they can do anything to me, uh, or I just want to chip something off in general. There are a lot of fire types in the tier now. Flutter main, that's what it was. I know its defensives are horrible, so we'll see how much that takes. I'm still adjusting to the new types and whatnot. So, this is going to be the tentative set we're going to be building around today. Now, as we identified, things like Amoongus, Toxapex are going to be issues. So, it's like, how do we deal with such things, right? Let me see if there are any Whirlpool Pokemon. Maybe we can trap something. Let's see what the Whirlpool options are. So Loma Mola gets Whirlpool. Uh, let's see if there are any Perish Song options. If anything gets Perish Song and Whirlpool. So nothing gets Perish Song and Whirlpool. Let's see what gets Perish Song in general in this game. Hmm. Azu is in the game but doesn't get Whirlpool. Doesn't get Whirlpool anymore. That's whack. Uh, Cause we'd be trapping people. Does it get block or something like that? Does not get block. Let's see what gets block and what. I'm trying to trap stuff and remove it so Quaxel something something can can thrive. So block. Uh, Block. Yeah, all the blockers are trash. I guess maybe Bronzong could do something, right? We could have a block Bronzong set, block uh, things in. We might have to use some block Bronzong shenanigans. Because if we look at the things it struggles with, like Bronzong is no, like most of them get destroyed by Bronzong psychic. Um, Ranzong is no beast, but done properly, we can lure those things in, I think. I mean, I don't know if Amoongus is exactly what people want to switch in on um, Ranzong, but um, yeah, the blockers are trash. Block. What does this get? This can block things. Block. Does this get will o wisp It's a grass type, so maybe not. Maybe it's ghost typing allows it to get it. Seems not. So it seems like we're going to beat these things the old fashioned way. With hazards. So we're going to be um, stacking a lot of hazards here. So let's uh, figure out what gets spikes again. Um, I think I want to simplify this a bit, but also keep it a bit unique. And I don't know what half these damn things do. So we gotta get some time to 
Sandy Shocks, 101 speed. Man, these things are strange. Uh, ground Grass, man. Let's see. I know the Rhydon looking, the... Oh, it doesn't get spikes? How, how comes, uh... Well, they guys didn't want to break it. That Don Fan thing gets... Let's get spikes and stealth rock. This is uh so we get spikes and stealth rock. Cloud Zire, Guard Trump, Gastrodon. What is this? That's very high special attack. Um that earthworm looking thing. Sandy shocks. The hell is this? What is this there? Ground electric, that's special. Earth power electric. This looks like a great lead for things. Let's use this. Let's use this. Uh, there's no landers as far as I can tell. <laughs> I mean, I would have seen one by now. Uh, yeah, that looks like, I mean, as far as the things that I think people lead with. What are the other options as far as movesets? Mm -hmm. I suppose we could magnet rise, I don't know. Um, I think this just being some focus stash lead, get some rocks and spikes up. Uh, there are probably so many better options, but who gives a damn? We're gonna sling this kind of fast. Um, and it beats that that poison rock thing um yeah so that's our hazard so we have hazards we got um, daffy here so we just have, to have something else that um lures in what would lure in those pexes and those grass types and such and just give them a hell of a time um what does breloom have in store breloom she lures in a lot of those things as well, but can it do anything to that? Does it learn some secret move that uh, gets Zen Headbutt? <laughs> gets Zen Headbutt, that's interesting. I don't think it always got that, but it makes sense. I don't think, it, is, is that new? I don't think it always had Zen Headbutt. Uh, hmm. No, I don't think Elo Zen Headbutt kills. What's his face? Among Us. So. You need a ghost type. Let's use a Dragapult. Dragapult is good versus that damn. As our offensive check for that damn ghost fairy looking mischievous thing, man. That's a problem. So we're going to use general choice specs. Uh, we're using this partly because Pult is still legendary, um, as I'm looking at the tier. I mean, you don't have the greatest ghost resist out here. We have a lot of dark types, but a lot of them are dragonable. So I think Pult's still legendary. Uh, infiltrator for any pesky specs users. I don't think my stats being lowered. Imagine if Clear Body stopped Draco Meteor from lowering your stats. Insane, right? So we're gonna go with Polt. Polt again is just a very off good offensive check to most things. Um, not the type to switch in on things. But uh it's something I can appreciate. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go with the typical Musa. I don't recall if any other thing is better than Fire Blast. But it also forces a lot of things to take those entry hazards and it gives me a spin blocker, right? So that's partly why I went with Pult. Look how much faster we're building this team, right? So we still need more for that Among Us on the off chance we run into that. Um, for those Toxapexes. What would Lord Pex in? Hmm. The 
heck is this? Let's see what this can do. It's fast as hell, bro. What the hell? Why is Deli Bird in Lexi Chain? Oh, wow. It's kind of cool. Yeah, why is this thing? Um... Oh, I see. I just realized what the cork drive and the other ability is the same thing. But one is like futuristic based upon the legendaries. Ah, I haven't played the actual game, so that's why. Uh, and they they nerfed... Um, oh, electric power. Can't sleep. I thought it said electric types can't go to sleep. I was like, they nerfed electric terrain. Um, sorry about that ice from the fridge. Yeah, this doesn't really help. This is Pex. I think it gets Whirlpool, but... Well, I guess I could. Whirlpool. I don't even know if Pex would switch in on this. I think it would. Whirlpool. A freeze dry. And just... What else does it get? get a boosting move. Yeah, it's strong as hell. So Pex is definitely getting 8. Uh, I might not even need to run Timid. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this thing is way too fast not to run Timid. I met a game like this. Look, it's crazy how gimmicky this set is. It's, it's not very bulky on the special side. This is my Pex killer. It's like pure water. In fact, it beats a lot of pure waters. Uh, well, it can't trap Vaporeon. Mm, water ice. So you'd need a boots, right? Uh, so it's between freeze dry and the damage from whirlpool. I'm pretty sure I'd be good. Um, obviously, it's gonna have the water style. I don't want to make it super gimmicky, to where it's not like doing anything. So let's pop that hydro pump on there. Freeze dry whirlpool hydro pump. Look at these these on on sets. And then I get an electric terrain boost. Is there an electric terrain user? Where my top of cocoa at? Electric terrain. It's the only one pin jerking. Um, not electric terrain. What's that ability called? Um, uh, electric. I actually don't remember what it's called. Electric. Uh, let's um, pin jerking. Let's see what it's called. Electric Surge. I figured that's what it was called, but um, wasn't remembering. So, as you can see, I'm in step three right now. Identify what Pokemon or strategies can aid in removing or stopping all the blockers to your goal. So, in English, that just means what gets in my way and how do I fix it. So, right now, Daffy's still the core member. We want to do a lot of work, and so we're trying to deal with all the things that could get in Daffy's way. Um... I think it's U-turn and flip turn. I think U-turn probably be better that way. I can't um, can't be water moved. This attack is trash anyway, so it's not like it matters. Uh, whirlpool or pulse, chilled water. Ice beam is cool, but yeah, I don't think I'll need it. This thing move pool is ass. No wonder, right? Yeah, so we're gonna just U-turn here. Uh, the only electric terrain user is is uh, electric surge user is Pinchurkin as far as I can tell unless a new Pokemon got electric surge um, yeah so I'm not putting this rubbish on my team well, not for that so and, and this just isn't that useful to where I care enough so let's put a, another, this is a fairly offensive team, fairly offensive team. So I'll put a little bit of backbone on there and then we'll get this party started. So, mad week to ground fighting, I mean everything, frankly. So, let us see. Let us see, let us see. 
It's a fairly offensive team, so I'm not going to go too deep into, like, having a ton of walls and whatnot. But I'd like at least a slum solution, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, Hydro. Hydrago. Hydrago. This Hydreigon thing is quite interesting. Um, very fighting. Um, hmm. You know, Jumpluff. I'm gonna use a Jumpluff. I just think it's gonna be good. I really don't know why I'm using a Jumpluff. Like when I looked at what's common. It just seems like it makes sense. It just seems like it makes sense. Heavy duty boots. Uh, it seems like it'd be annoying. It's shoes in it. So sleep powder. We're going to sleep things. We're going to be leech sheeting things. We're going to be substitute worth it. Remember acrobatics used to be a thing. I wonder if this is worth being annoying. I mean, his attack is though. Awful. This is awful. This is awful. Hmm. Maybe dual screens? Nah, no, it's not good. Yeah, we're not using jump books. This thing is rubbish. Yeah, so that, that momentary th urge passed. So on to the next. Hmm. This thing, what garbage? So. No, Lilligan has like a fighting type. Equivalent now. Oh yeah, this 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 little earthworm thing might would have been better to as slow as balls. Um, it's quite the slow balls thing. What about rain? Rain? No, we're not gonna make it full on rain. I'd like to make an actual rain team at some point, so let's not do that. What about the rotom forms? Rotom forms are cool, cool guys. We used Rotom Heat yesterday. What about, uh, I go Rotom Wash? What about Rotom Wash? Huh? Uh, got an electric water type already. But Rotom Wash is a whole different beast. Let me think. Rotom Wash, is that even good? What's this common? Rotom Wash. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that's a good Pokemon. It is. It is. It's not, and it is at the same time. I think Rotom Wash is legitimate. Does this look at Defog? Does that get Defog? Insane. But um, I think Rotom Wash is, is, is just annoying. Saucy. It Volt Switches on all things. It Thunderbolts on all things. And it um, Hydro Pumps on all things. And I make it offensive. Um. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Hmm. I think I can make it mid. I'll make it mid. No, I'm gonna make it offensive. I had a reason, but I guess I guess with the Willow Wisp, I can get away with being mid. No the offense. Heavy boots, of course. Everybody get the boots. And so we have actually three water types. Uh. We need something to handle these dang fire types now, yeah. Um, yeah, this, this very well could be the worst team of all time. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to find out. Stay tuned, guys. So, we're again, we're at stage three right now. Uh, we're getting close to stage four, which is start putting together a rough draft team. And again, down below in the description. Um, you will also have access to this template. So, you can build any team you want with it. It'll be a seamless process. So for the finale, uh, mm, give my boy Tangro that. Let me just throw this random Tangro on here. Uh, wing bug fighting. High attack, high special defense. Hmm. 
Boros. Very interesting. Typings are very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, what about this thing? What about this thing? I have a ground type like that. What does this do? Pokemon status move. This Pokemon status moves has its priority lowered and ignores target's ability. Alright guys, so I have no idea where I stopped in this. Um, I literally... <laughs> so, um, I was thinking it's actually Scizor, right? I, I don't have a... I think the choice band in Scizor has been in use. I don't know. We're just going to keep it simple. Technician Bullet Punch seems valuable right now. Why is all these zero EVs? That's going to be our team, our prep team for now. And um, as I mentioned... We're going to be doing a live with it. Now, it's already dang late. So, this is going to be up later than I expected because I was just on a damn near two-hour call. So, um, this isn't even rendered yet. So, we're going to get this party started. Uh, I'll just make it max HP because we're probably going to be switching into some fairy types here and there. Shout out to my Australians. Love y'all. I love everybody, man. Like, I really, you know, uh, not a very emotional person close combat I know where is that not crazy I just randomly give moves moves that it could have learned all along uh, what are they running I know knockoff isn't a thing um but um yeah I was thinking about it I'm like you know I genuinely love you all like for real like it I can feel it and that's not something I typically experience like not a sensation but when I think about just everybody it truly does feel familial like like brotherly quick attack I suppose um, and so I just wanted to share that with you guys like I really do appreciate each and every one of you speak creep so yeah um, as you see, step five is to refine the rough draft. We're not going to do that in this stage because we just lack information. And step six is the live where we have a heavy duty boost, where we uh, test it. So everybody has their item team is in the description down below. Guys, please hit the like button in this video and every video coming forth. And uh, yeah, let's do this.